we're going to do a very slow pan from the right to the left showing the living area and there's Coop sitting on the sofa bed. That sofa has an air mattress sleep system and then he's going to go over now and get into the, re the uh, wall hugger recliner. This is the world's most comfortable uh, recliner chair mainly because it's not an RV chair. It's made for us by a very fine home furnishing company. And here's the big surprise. Coming over to the left is the bonus room. In the bonus room, you can put anything in there you want. Remember I told you that we could have a Hammond organ on board? Well, that's where it fits. Sewing machine, reloading bench, tool bench, and all those things that people want to take with them but never can find space for. So there it is, the bonus room. Okay, we're going to talk a little bit more about our wonderful bonus room. The neat thing about the bonus room is uh, it can do all kinds of wonderful things, and the cabinet in the overhead is designed to take stereos, radios, and all kinds of electronics that you might want to install in it. And to the left is a pull-out TV mount. That will hold up to a 32-inch uh, LCD TV. We're going to have Koopy demonstrate that in just a little bit. But that is big enough for an organ, keyboard, set of drums, musical instruments, sewing machine, and all those kind of things that we can never seem to find room for, especially our full-timers. When they hit the road, they like to take everything that they've ever done along with them. So, Coop, show us how that TV is going to swing out. Again, we're going to just pretend that there's a 32-inch uh, LCD TV on there. Okay? Comes out like that. Ta -da! And that will point in any direction. It'll point at the kitchen table, point at the chairs, point at the kitchen sink. So it just depends on who wants to watch TV at the time. When it's done, then it just folds back against the wall out of the way. There we go. Super. So that's our Sequoia bonus room. Well, we're looking over at our kitchen counter. That counter is 30 inches deep. It's about 6 inches uh, deeper than a standard RV counter. The, uh, and it is solid surface. The cabinetry is all laminate, and that's why we can have those nice, beautiful curved surfaces. And one of the things that's hidden below our kitchen counter, it's normally a dead space in almost any RV, is space for a combo washer-dryer. We're going to have Koopy come over and open that door and show you where the washer-dryer would go. Ta-da! Right there. So, very often uh, you just can't find room in a 34-foot fifth wheel for a combo washer-dryer, but we've got it. Well, there's Coop and the Americana teddy bear. And we're going to do a pan from the left to the right going from the uh, comfy chairs to the sofa bed to the uh, table and chairs and then we're going to cut over to the kitchen over by the entry door is the control panel just inside and this has a solar control panel on it plus a monitor panel and then light switches not really uh, unusual but it's just the job done it's out of the way nice uh, handle grab handle as you come in the entry door too you might see over on the wall and by the way, all these walls are upholstered, automotive vinyl upholstery. And that's one of the reasons why it looks so comfy in here. The ceiling is also automotive vinyl upholstery. Okay, above our uh, cooktop, by the way, we haven't installed this. This is going to be done in Australia. So they're going to cut their own uh, top out for their own uh, Dometic stove that's peculiar to Australia. But uh, if this was an American unit, we'd already have it installed. So right above this solid surface cooktop with these nice backsplashes, I hope you like them, I designed them, is space for a microwave convection oven or a microwave oven. And uh, the uh, Australians, again, will install their own. This happens to be an American. We just set it in so for the video. As we kind of walk around, we will show you inside this overhead cabinet. These cabinets are all high-pressure laminate. Is a nice shelf for uh, additional dishes so we have space up above and space down below and it's at least 14 inches deep for a standard American plate. Okay. Now Coop's going to come over and he's going to show you how to take the, the sink tops off, pull the sink off, tops off Coop. Okay. Take the other one off. Now this is a solid acrylic sink, and it's an inch deeper than a standard RV sink. Plus, see this alcove here? I had to ask a lady what that was for. It's for a pot handle, so you can have a small compact sink, but big enough for a pot handle to stick back right there. 
And then this is a very nice rinser. See how that works? Super. And it's a single level lever control. Again, this is the distance that's 30 inches deep. So it's deeper than a standard RV countertop, which is usually 24 inches. Good amount of space in a very con uh, working space in a very compact area. Coop's going to show us our super kitchen drawer space. First of all, we're going to see the small drawers on the, uh, that's it, we'll pull them out. They do not have crossbars in them, so that means we get a lot of extra vertical storage and they come all the way out. And those are 70 pound rollers, heavy duty rollers. Those are birch drawers with dovetails, dovetail construction. Put them all in quick, very good. And then right below where the oven or stove would go, cooktop, are two very large drawers. Okay, pull those out, very good. Put them back, Coop. Right next to the stove, then, is the pantry. Give it a yank, Coop. Pull the bottom drawer out. You got four drawers just like this. They're tall. You can even add shelves in there for spices, what have you, but they're tall for cereal boxes and canned goods. Right next to that would be the refrigerator. The Australians will be just installing their own refrigerator. It'll also be a Dometic, just like ours would be but uh, they wanted one that would be uh, warrantable in Australia, so they'll put their own in. And right below is this huge drawer, pots and pans, etc. And the reason we can do that is the basement. There's no power distribution panel or any kind of appliance underneath our refrigerator as in a standard American build fifth wheel. So we have extra space above the floor because there's nothing else here but just space. Okay, we're in our very roomy little bedroom. And what makes it so roomy is it's full seven feet tall from the floor to the ceiling. And look at the size of that slide out. The slide out's also three feet deep. So it's bigger than a standard RV would possibly have. And that really contributes to enlarging this room. And as we go on around, come over to the big closet that goes clear across the front, which is cedar lined. And then we ask Coop to come out of the basement and come out of the closet. Come on up from the basement, Coop. There he goes. The closet floor and shelves are also aligned. And then we're going to come around at the end of the bed and see the big uh, cabinets that go ceiling to floor. You could put a small TV in that top cabinet if you wish. And we're going to kind of zoom around and look at the huge counter in the makeup counter. And a vessel sink. The neat thing about a vessel sink is look at all the space below that vessel sink for hair dryers and so on. And then above the vessel sink is a very deep medicine cabinet. Coop, you can open that. Look at the depth of that. And also the, uh, the uh, floors and, and shelves of the, of the medicine cabinet are also lined. Well, there's our solid surface countertop on that big area next to the bed. That's a queen-size bed, a home-sized uh, queen. Right below it is a huge amount of storage. And uh, Coop is going to open that up in just a second. Show us that big storage cabinet right there, Coop. And then up above, he's going to show us the big deep storage. Uh, almost... Uh, 28 inch deep cabinets up above for all those bedding items and uh, that switch right on top of the solid surface countertop that one that and there's another one on the opposite side runs our optional air mattress sleep system so you can control the uh, uh, whether it's soft or supportive on either side of the air mattress you've seen uh, similar mattresses advertised on television okay we're going to have Coop show us how this uh, Neo Angle's 36-inch uh, shower works. First of all, it's got a sit-down seat. Well, some ladies put their leg on that to shave their legs, as I was told. But anyway, it's got a sit-down seat inside. And it's big enough for big adults. And it's got a no-drip door. When you open those doors, they just slide. They don't swing out over the floor. So there's no drip on those doors. So come on out, Coop. Show us how those doors work. Great. Super. And that's uh, home-style uh, hardware inside with a single lever control. So it's not uh, typical RV hardware. Anyway, very roomy, super 36-inch Neo round shower. Very big shower for this little 34. This has an adult-sized door, and again, it's upholstered just the way the walls are upholstered. Inside is a huge, uh, uh, well, an adult-sized porcelain toilet, and it's an adult-sized space inside. So the biggest thing is the amount of uh, entryway we get. Some of our customers are not petite.